now let us discuss about implementation of 8 by 1 multiplexer using 4 by 1 multiplexer and 2 by 1 multiplexer so now we have to design 8 by 1 multiplexer with the help of 4 by 1 multiplexer as well as 2 by 1 multiplexer we know that 8 by 1 multiplexer accept 8 inputs and it produces only one output likewise 4 by 1 multiplexer accepts 4 data inputs and produces one output 2 by 1 multiplexer accepts 2 data inputs and produces one output so first let us see the block diagram and uh, two table of the 8 by 1 multiplexer so this is 8 by 1 multiplexer 8 by 1 multiplexer accepts 8 data inputs from INR to I7 and it produces only one output so 8 means we can write 8 as 2 power 3 so 8 by 1 multiplexer has 3 selection inputs such as S0, S1, S2 so S2, S1, S0 are the selection inputs here the output will depends upon the selection inputs if we select triple zero then I0 will be selected as the output if we select 0, 0, 1 if we select 0, 0, 1 then I1 will be displayed as the output 0, 1, 0 means I2 will be displayed as the output likewise triple one means I7 will be displayed as the output ok so which input will be displayed as the output that depends upon the selection input so first first we need to find out how many 4 by 1 multiplexers are required here the required multiplexer is 8 whereas available multiplexer is 4 required multiplexer has 8 inputs whereas available multiplexer has 4 data inputs so we need to divide required multiplexer data inputs by available multiplexer data inputs so 8 by 4 is equal to 2 so we require 2 4 by 1 multiplexers at level 1 so at the first level we require 2 4 by 1 multiplexers next we need to find out how many number of 2 by 1 multiplexers are required so here uh, which value we got here we got 2 we require 2 4 by 1 multiplexers so we need to divide this 2 by this 2 by so available number of 2 by 1 multiplexer so 2 by 1 multiplexer has 2 data inputs so 1 so at the second level we require 1 2 by 1 multiplexer so the procedure is very very simple so the number of 4 by 1 multiplexers required are is equal to uh, is equal to required multiplexer has 8 inputs so divide 8 by uh, how many 4 by 1 multiplexers are required so divide by 4 that is equal to 2 next we have to find out number of 2 by 1 multiplexers so for that purpose we have to divide this 2 by uh, how many number of 2 by 1 multiplexers are required 2 by 1 multiplexer has 2 data inputs so 1 so at the first level we require 2 4 by 1 multiplexers at the second level we require 1 2 by 1 multiplexer so let us draw the diagram so this is the first level so at the first level we require 2 4 by 1 multiplexers so this is the first multiplexer next this is the second multiplexer so this is nothing but first level so we know that 4 by 1 multiplexer has 4 data inputs so here the inputs are i0 i1 i2 i3 we know that 4 by 1 multiplexer has 2 selection inputs we can write 4 as 2 power 2 ok so the selection inputs are the first two inputs we have to use here so the first one is S0 whereas the second one is S1 so what is the first selection input S0 so let us write it as like this S0 S1 so here also we require 4 data inputs so what are the next 4 data inputs here from I4 to I7 so I4, I5, I6, I7 I7 uh, this, this is nothing but first level at the first level the selection inputs are S0 and S1 S0 and S1 ok Two selection inputs and it produces one output it produces one output here how many 2 by 1 multiplexers are required at the second level we require one 2 by 1 multiplexer 2 by 1 multiplexer accept two data inputs so one input from output of the first 4 by 1 multiplexer second input from output of the second 4 by 1 multiplexer we know that 2 by 1 multiplexer has one input so this is the second level at the second level uh, the selection or control any control input is S2 so at the first level the selection inputs are S0 S1 
S0, S1 at the second level, the selection input is S2. Now let's check whether our diagram is correct or not. Here what is our target? We have to construct 8 by 1 multiplexer with the help of 4 by 1 and 2 by 1. Already we knew the truth table for the 8 by 1 multiplexer. Now let's check whether this, uh, whether this diagram, this structure is producing, this circuit is producing uh, this uh, uh, output, this truth table or not. If this circuit produces this truth table, then we can say that this is 8 by 1 multiplexer. Uh, here, uh, uh, let us see uh, uh, three conditions. First, let us check for I0. Next, let us check for I3. Next, let, let us focus on the uh, I7. So, at I0, what are S1 and S2? What are S1 and S0? S1 and S0 are 0, 0. S1 and S0 are 0, 0. Next, what is S2? S2 is 0, okay? So, here 0, 0 means what will happen? The first two data input will be selected as the output. What is the first two data input? I0. So, this is the output. Here also 0, 0. So, 0, 0 means the first two data input will be selected as the output. So, I4. Here, what is the data input? 0. So, here it produces only one output. So, 0 means the first two data input will be displayed as the output. What is the first two data input? I0. So, we can say that this is correct only. So, likewise check for 0, double 1. So, what are S1 and S0? S1 and S0 are 1, 1. S1 and S0 are 1, 1. S1 and S0 are 1, 1. Next, what is S2? S2 means 0. So, here 1, 1 means, 1, 1 means what will happen? The last data input will be selected as the output. What is the last data input? I3 will be displayed as the output. So, 1, 1 means last data input. That is, I7 will be <coughs> displayed as the output. But here S2 means 0. 0 means the first two data input will be selected as the output. What is the first two data input? I3. So, I3. So, this is also correct. Now, let's check for the last combination. Last combination. So, triple 1. So, already we have seen 1, 1. 1, 1 means it produces I3, I7. Whereas here 1 means it produces the second data input. What is the second data input? I7. So, with this we can conclude that our our logical circuit is correct only. Why? Because our logical circuit is producing this truth table. So, this is about uh, implementation of 8 by 1 multiplexer using 4 by 1 and 2 by 1 multiplexer. So, how many uh, 4 by 1 multiplexers are required here? We require 2 4 by 1 multiplexers. And how many 2 by 1 multiplexers are required here? We require 1 2 by 1 multiplexer. So, we know what is 8 by 1 multiplexer. 8 by 1 multiplexer means it accepts 8 data input lines and it produces one output. So, which data input will be displayed as the output? That will be decided based upon the selection or control inputs S2, S1 and S0. If they are triple zero, then first two data input will be selected as the output. So, likewise.